Uh, Piyush, good morning. Good to have you with us here. So, you know, this uh, news uh, industry, uh, petroleum in, uh, industry uh, website called Petro Watch put out the story that Petronet LNG, uh, LNG and uh, Rasgas are renegotiating contracts. Uh, right? I mean, that's the trigger. Could you talk about that a little bit? Have you gone through what they've put out, what it means? Yeah, hi. Uh, so, I think, uh, uh, so there is one very critical point here is that, which is being talked is that there is a, a possibility of reduction in the gas prices. And when we talk about the reduction in gas prices, it means that from about $12.5, which is being paid to Ras Gas, uh, if the prices get linked to market and crude oil, it means that the prices could go down uh, below $7. So, which uh, is very huge trigger for the gas sector. Now, what it does is that at present, you have very low oil prices, but the gas prices are uh, quite high because of contractual, long-term contractual parameters. But then if the gas prices become market-linked, uh, it means that uh, the basically the import of the gas is going to increase, which means that the pipeline utilization, uh, there's a high possibility of that increasing. Uh, and now uh, let's uh, remember that uh, at present, uh, for India, the, the largest source uh, sourcing point for gas is uh, the Gulf market, the Qatar. Uh, from 2018, we're estimating a lot of Australian gas is going to land uh, on the eastern coast. You just, and there just, are a lot just, of, let's, yep. just one minute. Just, just one minute. Uh, let's just uh, take a step back. So, we, so Petronet LNG would import LNG and regasify it, right? Yeah, that's right. That, that's what it does. So what? Are, so what are we? So they've had agreements with Ras Gas to get these shipments of LNG, and you were saying they were paying about twelve uh, twelve dollars per mmbtu. Is that right? Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half, Tw and a half. And a half per mmbtu, and yeah. the report is now saying this news report that Petronet and LN, uh, and Ras Gas are renegotiating that contract, right? Yeah. And as part of that renegotiation, the price may come down by four or five dollars. Yeah, because it is going to be linked uh, with the Brent crude, so on a long-term basis. Which And because uh -huh. the Brent crude is quite low at present, this means that the gas prices are going to come down because of that. So what, in effect, it does is, uh, for Petronet LNG, uh, this will be a source of higher volume, which is uh, accurate for the EPS. And then it, it's a, then a flow-through yes. factor. Just, for Gale, yes, uh, there will be a... a bit, Piyush, but why yeah. would Rasgas agree to it? Is it because uh, natural gas prices anyway, global natural gas prices are very low anyway? So, uh, that, it's a readjustment to that in response to that? Two points. Uh, number one, to stay competitive in a very large market like India. So, we are basically uh, uh, thinking around why they would be uh, agreeing to it. Number one, India yes. is a very large future gas market. Number two, Australia is going to emerge from fiscal 2018 as the largest gas exporter in the world. So, which means they are going to actually face a lot of increasing competition uh, over the next few years. So, actually, to protect the market share, um, if basically they're agreeing, then this would be the biggest reason uh, to actually maintain their presence and maintain their market share in, uh, in India. And I think the other Asian markets also would also like to have like that. Yeah. What, what are global natural uh, gas prices at now? So global natural gas prices uh, would be somewhere trending around uh, around between six and seven at present. If it gets linked to the crude oil prices. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, so like, just to put a pointer, um, anything below eight dollars uh, becomes a very good attractive price point for the Indian market. Uh huh. Right. So when they get the uh, gas at uh, or, or rather, uh, the, the LNG at lower price, right? Not the gas. Yes, LNG. Yes, LNG. So, you so will they get, get the LNG, LNG at a uh, Yeah, basically you will uh, regasify and use it then. So they get that as a, at a lower price. Uh, isn't there a pass-through here? Or, or are we saying that they, they get to keep the gains? No, definitely it will be a pass-through. Because if it is not a pass-through, then you won't get volumes. Uh, see, what the trigger point here is and why all the stocks are rallying is that uh, at the price of $12.5, uh, that is not 
so much attractive for envisioning large city gas distribution projects uh, for power plants. Definitely, it's not without subsidy. Now, at a price point below eight dollars, now we are even talking below seven. Uh, it becomes very highly attractive for uh, pursuing large city gas distribution projects. Like in Gujarat, why Gujarat gas is rallying so much? Because of very high possibility of high capacity utilization. Low gas prices means you will import very high amount of gas, more than the contractual quantity. Contract is on one side, whereas the gas price is market linked. You basically are not in a position to import more gas. All right, fair enough, got that. Uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, thank you very much. Good to good speaking with you. Appreciate you joining in, Piyush, with that uh, perspective there.